So welcome, Luca Antignani, for this uh, another episode of Szymanowski Radio, Thank you. Uh, our podcast of Katowice Music Academy. Um, you have been teaching and uh, speaking with students for the for, for the past week, but I want to introduce you first. You are a composer, teacher of orchestration and composition in Lyon and Lausanne in Switzerland, but you are not French, you are Italian. And... Well, we have had the, had the opportunity to listen to a lot of your pieces, your wonderful, magnificent music, uh, sophisticated instrumentation approach. Um, yeah, and you told me, you, you told me. Um, I hope it's it's, it's good uh, summarized uh, in short who you are. Uh, but the, the the first thing that I that I want to ask you is: we discovered that we have both. Uh, children in the same age and I wanted to ask you if being a father somehow affects you as a composer uh, you spoke about uh, models in no that like it does it that, did it change you as a composer when you became a father ah sorry okay sorry, sorry. I didn't understand. no problem <laughs> uh, no No, no. Just I uh, now I have less time to, to <laughs> compose, but uh, it uh, didn't change at all my poetic world and uh, my way to conceive music and my way my approach to the music. No, not at all. So you don't don't think sometimes f to compose something for the children or to think to, to to make music for your children? Did you have this idea? Like for example, Bartok wrote pieces for his own. Uh, son piano pieces to study uh, I, for that maybe it's too too soon because uh, they are two and four years old so uh, for that it's too soon about uh, child and child world I I am very seduced by by that but not because I have ch I have two childs just because it's one of my personal ghosts I, i i say it that in, in this way yes i should maybe have started with that question because mm. um i notated some of the of the recurring themes or recurring you, you call it ghosts like um things that you that you think about that are important for you as inspiration uh, as a composer um, you call them shadows or ghosts and you re refer a, a lot of times for the, the remembrance of the Great Friday procession in, uh, in, in Sorrento yes, um, and but also other things like the the, 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 the history of and, and into incorporation of, of little forms inside the piece like a lullaby for example mm. or a, 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 a popular song, uh, the tango uh, the tarantella um, like that, but not only like the rhythm, but also the the, the whole story, mm. um, the puppets. Let's say, a lot. It's 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 it's. I had the impression that your childhood is still inspiring, or the the things that you experienced as a child is has a huge influence on your you being a composer or how to compose what you compose. Yes. It's completely true. I I, I have an history uh, as uh, someone, and uh, I am Italian, and I lived in uh, yes when I was child. Uh, we sp speak about forty uh, years ago, and uh, the world the world is was was completely different. We didn't have uh, computers, we didn't have uh, telephones, uh, telephones, portable telephones, and uh, internet uh, didn't exist. Uh, and the world is, was completely different, and uh, the human relationship was, uh, were different. And, uh, and of course, I, I am a son of a tradition, very deep tradition. Uh, 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 with some very particular roots that I that belong to 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 me. Mm, that belong uh, to you. Yeah, yeah. And um, about ghosts and the recurring theme, uh, it's it's true. And uh, but uh, I, I see the thing in this way. I like very much uh, uh, Proust chapter of uh, La Recherche des Temps Perdus 
where um, uh, when the protagonist uh, was drinking was uh, was drinking a, a, a cup of tea and uh, he, he he touched with spoon the the, the cup and this uh, sound uh, opens uh, a big remembering and uh, and uh, 150 pages <laughs> in, the, in the book of, of remembering and uh, this 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 is very important it means that for another person uh, it would be the color of the tea for another person uh, the, the 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 smell um, but uh, it reveals one important things in our life that all um, around us could uh, resonate or not in our inner uh, health, inner world, and uh, for another person, nothing, not, nothing at all about this tea. So uh, I think that we have, uh, like an inner piano with mm -hmm. several strings, and these strings resonate or not with uh, external external uh, suggestions and uh, it's in, in my the, the very difficult things for each person is to understand what what strings resonates and uh, that's the, the reason puppets for example um, i love puppets but the puppets don't belong to to my to, to my past to my to my childhood and not at all. Okay. But I so just it's not I, connected. No, to it's it's it, this it element. Seems at first glance like because it's a child thing. I, 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 I think that's what I love in puppets is the idea of in inani inanimated, but animated at the same time, inanimated but inanimated object with a soul, and. Uh, uh, and 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 so on. Several reflection we can we can do about about, about puppets. But it's it's tr it's sure that I have inner strings that resonate to this uh, suggestion. It's, it's interesting because I have to say that you're Italian, and this one of the most known stories from Italy is Pinocchio, which is the puppet that comes to life and becomes a boy. Um, I think that unconsciously, of course, I I'm I'm uh, impregnated. So I don't know. How, impregnated. Impregnated yes. by Italian culture. So the the puppet, not only Pinocchio, but Arlecchino is Italian puppet. Yes. Pulcinella is Italian puppet, and Stravinsky wrote a Pulcinella ballet, and Arlecchino uh, Schumann wrote Arlecchino mm -hmm. in, in this carnival, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, the 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 the, the theater. Is uh, is one of the uh, health of, of the Italian uh, uh, Italian expression, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, of course uh, you know that one of the important opera is the Italian opera Puccini, Verdi. In the tradition is very important is in Italy, and the, the reason is that we uh, need this second dimension the representation of the reality and in in some way music is a representation of reality and my music is uh, always i conceive that as a theatra, theatra, theatrical 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 mm, theatrical put in scene so you I, think you think and when composing in you think about, about the theatricals also, also the, about uh, 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 the gestures the visuals like yeah, okay. uh, uh, at, at all uh, completely I conceive uh, first of all the character or, or characters of my uh, plot mm -hmm. and musical character of course and after that I try to invent the history. And the way to articulate this uh, musical idea, abstract musical ideas, in, in in the time. So I thought always in my life in 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 this way about about music and uh, construction constructing of of form. And did you? If this this fascinates you, but d d uh, how about opera? Did you f write a, an opera, or do you want to write an opera someday? Is it a goal for you? 
You you catch the, the, the point. I it's a dream of my life. For the moment, I can't because uh, to write an opera, it's very big, big adventure, and uh, you need a lot of money and uh, and a big commission. But I'm working for. And you want to? You have like a sujet already, or just a dream I, I, to write I an have, opera? I have some sujet in my my mind, but uh, very often when you write an opera, you have to to speak about that with directors and say sometimes they they impose you the 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 subject or the but i would like to to write to write opera for for two main reasons the first one is because i think music as i said uh, in theatrical way and the second uh, reason is that i love uh, to write for voices And uh, I wrote uh, several voices piece last ten years, uh, even almost uh, just for voices. So I I think that I found my own way to to write for voices. And uh, I think that it's the, the most important things uh, today in contemporary opera is to find another way to 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 sing. Because uh, in, when I listen contemporary operas, I I find the orchestral part very interesting, very complex, very very rich. But uh, uh, vocal parts are always the same, and looks like uh, uh, the vocal part of uh, this year opera is the same as Berg uh, Wozzeck. I didn't and, much. Uh, and no, and uh, and I think that uh, we can do something with voices. Yeah, but this is also a theme for you, like a, a theme of uh, or a point of interest, uh, the the timbre of. Of of music, it's very important. I think in your in your music, it's like you 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 speak of course about harmony, about form, but it's obvious that the timbre is also very very important. That the 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 choices, which articulation, uh, which instruments, ha ha which the, the possibilities, this, the searching for uh, for uh, new new um, ways to perform, new techniques like uh, you used in uh, La Luna del Pozzo. Uh, all all is connected. Harmony is connected to timbre. Timbre is connected to rhythm. Rhythm. All is connected. But uh, what I, I I want to say about this subject is that uh, first of all, I think that uh, today uh, the tam timbre um, uh, parameter is uh, the only parameter in in almost the only parameter in in contemporary music. And uh, I think it is very important to to invent new timbres, new colors. But it, for me, it uh, couldn't be uh, the only goal. And about my colors, my timbre, I, I, I think that uh, each idea needs is its own way to to express uh, itself and um, so i i'm looking for uh, the the perfect way to to put in scene one idea and uh, it's it's way to to put in evidence and to to love the, 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 this, this idea to help this idea to grow up And um, so, in, in music, in general, in life, I think that the the, the what is as the same important is the how. What is the object, but how this object is represented, is the point. And the the, the how can affect very evenly, the the very strongly the what. Mm -hmm. Yes, you spoke about that that as well. Also, the different points of view of an object inside the piece mm -hmm. of music, like it changes. Like you have this idea of your form that you you, you spoke about I, with, with variations. And uh, now I, I want to say the word that you always use, ripresa. I don't know the English word now. Mm -hmm. Recapitulation. <laughs> uh, it's it's but but the recapitulation is it's like you don't a man doesn't go twice inside the same river. Mm -hmm. He changes. 
and uh, yes, the, the river changes, the man changes. Okay, now you open another chapter, the form. But uh, just to to say l last word about about the the previous idea of of the representation of of an idea. If you play uh, three notes, tirari, and you play that uh, with the violin on the on the fingerboard, tirari, with a very light bow, you 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 present these three notes in a way. If you play with the same violin uh, in pizza, plim plum plim, very very strong, it's the same notes, maybe the same character, maybe, but it's completely another world. So the way. Uh, it's the as the same uh, uh, is, is is important in the same way that the the, the object the object how um, do do you do you say the words it's the same things for the language I could say uh, you are very kind or haha thank you you are very kind it's ironical and I want to say exactly exactly the opposite but I say I say the same thing but with another tone with another uh, in German we say that the tone macht the music so <laughs> that the, the, the tone is, is is like the essence if, yeah, yeah yeah how do you say and things in with music is 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 the fundamental thing and about form yes I I like very much the the root of my reflection is the theme and variation, but uh, really, um, I, I don't like uh, several pieces r written in this way. Above all, in uh, in eighteenth century, where the variation is there is is just uh, um, decorative and uh, ornament, and uh, uh, the ornament uh, doesn't speak about the subject. Um, it's a superficial way to to variate. For me, variation means just one thing: to see the same object from another point of view and to reveal some hidden, uh, very interesting uh, elements that we can't see in another way. And for me, var, 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 to variate is to, uh, in several variations, is to present the same object from other point of view. Uh, and musically, it could be very interesting because, uh, as we said, uh, music uh, um, is composed by several parameters. So you you could see that in different way, uh, rhythmically, harmonically, and the color, the the the, the uh, articulation, accents, points, and so on. And what about the repressa idea? Because you, mm. the, the recapitulation I did, it's, yeah. I, I think it's, 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 if, if I would need to, to, to like, to put you to, 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 if I would need to find a, a typical form that you use, it's this combination maybe of variation and the idea of recapitulation. Yeah, oh, exactly, exactly. Uh, the the reprise of the reflection about the reprise for me uh, was was born uh, when I uh, when I heard, uh, for example, uh, uh, classical pieces, uh, Beethoven symphonies, Beethoven sonatas, uh, above all, uh, sonata form, because sonata form is A B A, and the A is the reprise of the first A, but we know very well that music is uh, um, an art in the time. And uh, it, so it's a metaphor of a, of a life, as, as a film, the same. Uh, it's not an art in the, just, we do, don't catch just one, say, one instant as a photo or as a picture. Um, so uh, it... Um, uh, it's necessary to see that as a developing during the time. It means that uh, if uh, I see you today and uh, and after that I see you in one year, uh, you are the, you are the same persons, but you will not be the same person. Impossible. Uh, in one year, because you have one year of experience of adventures of life of life 
uh, during this year. And the same thing uh, in music, uh, even if I hear this exactly the same notes for the ripresa, Beethoven ripresa, but the Beethoven ripresa uh, arrives after five minutes of developing and very tragic uh, developing and contrast uh, with uh, between themes and ideas and rhythm and dynamics and uh, so i can't perceive the the same theme in the same way for me it's, it's another thing it's the same but another step of evolution so this reflection brings me to to, to, to conceive my uh, ripresa that I use very often at the end of my piece as a transfiguration in another dimension of the same idea. You had to recognize the idea, but, um, but it's, it's, it's a, a ghost of the previous idea. It's, it's, it's another thing. It's the same thing, but another step, another step of evolution. Sometimes it's my, my, my pieces uh, ends end, and uh, after the end it clearly end, and after that I add a, a part that don't below doesn't below to to the piece. It's like uh, now we are in another dimension, completely. It's could be it could be a met metaphor of life. Yes, I. I think that pieces are very natural or organs, so... Mm. As I certainly perceived all your pieces as evolving very, very organically, mm -hmm. um, that logically, organically evol evolving, like it's an evolution and uh, but I, I like this, 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 I liked always the, the, the return, I like this idea in general of, of the return that maybe the transfigured return, it gives um, also a feeling of, of closure to the piece. So maybe that's it, that's it. It doesn't just end, it ends with a remembrance maybe of of the beginning of the piece. Yeah, I like to, to joke, to, 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 to play with, with, with the memory and with the, the form and with the, the remembering things and the, the past. The, it's, it's, uh, again, it's the piece, uh, piece is like life. You have a flashback, you have uh, some remembering things, some, some, and, and you, you think about the future, you think about the present and the past, and, uh, and it's permanently this, uh, <coughs> this um, dynamic in, during the time. And uh, I'm very, very, uh, I, I'm upset, upset by um, by the control of, of of the form and the control of the time, for two two main reasons. The, the the I have to be happy, and I have to be coherent, and I want that. I I, I it's a form of of respect. Uh, for 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 public. Because men, because people that that listen my piece, uh, has to have uh, some reference point to follow my history. In music, is twice more difficult than a, a book or a film, because in music, first of all, uh, it's it's a symbolic language. And uh, it's uh, it's not uh, a team. It's not love. It's not that. It's not. It's a musical team. You can interpret it that, but it's it's just music. And second reason that, in particular, specifically in contemporary music, we have lost the common reference of uh, tonal language. So for for. Twice and uh, uh, for two main reasons, we have to be very, 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 very clear in our form, in our history. But would you say that your music is in a rupture with tonality or that it grows out of tonality? Because I have the feeling that, that it is connected to tonality. You use like tonal chords as of all. You spoke about uh, your, the, the modi that you use and that uses major and minor chords. 
also in combinations, of course, but it, it seems it's still something important at, le at last yeah. for you. I, I think that, that there is a little misunderstood about that. Um, uh, right tonally, for me, it means uh, uh, right uh, using uh, tonal language, tonal functions. When I write tonal, I write tonal. It means uh, I think about uh, the second degree, fifth degree, and, and, and so you are inside the logic. In, inside the functional harmonic. Exactly. Logic. It, it, this is a logic. Other things is to uh, use in a very legitimate way uh, all harmony that I want. Is, uh, an harmony is a color. So if I want to use Do, Mi, Sol in my piece, and at the same time Do, Do, Diesis and Re, and Re, C, C sharp and D, uh, it's, it, it's, it, they, it, it's just two different colors, but it's not functionally uh, in integrated in, in, in the piece. It's another, it's, a, it's another type of functionality. I never s uh, speak, uh, sp spoke about uh, tonal chords of my piece because I like uh, tonal, I, I want, to, I like tonal music, of course, but I don't, I, 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 because I want to use uh, tonal language. It's another, completely another thing. I think that until uh, uh, the, the beginning, beginning of 20th century, we had tonal, pseudo-tonal music, and uh, after uh, 1950-1955, just, uh, just uh, atonal music, but above all just um, very hard intervals uh, as second minor, 19... Dissonance. Dissonance, very mm -hmm. dissonance, and uh, I think that now, today, we can accept uh, both because I don't want to use just do mi sol. I don't want to use just do the diesis. I want to 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 create a, a dramatical history with uh, all intervals and all possibilities, without uh, with my logic and with my f way to form my, my way to conceive harmonic tension. Because f for example, th th yeah, that's but, a problem. But, but, but that's a, that's a, a part of the tonalic. The, 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 the tonality or the functional tonality is the, the logic of the, or the, or the force of the tension between dominant and tonic. So you translate that into your own language. It, it is, in a way, growing out of tonality. Absolutely. This is, uh, what, what, I, what, what we, we, we miss a lot, I think, or I miss a lot, uh, about tonality is exactly this, this element. The, the tension between uh, two harmonies or, or several harmonies, the harmonical tension in general. Uh, I think that we, we lose completely that in contemporary music. And um, because I, I, I have an, uh, an harmonic composer, I, I like very much uh, to work with, with harmony, harmonies, uh, I, I try to to recover, to uh, re-contextualize re, 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 uh, this, uh, this, this idea, to recreate this um, harmonical tension in, in out of the tonal uh, language. It's made a utopic uh, goal, but um, for the moment I, f I found um, uh, two different solutions that I'm developing still. The first one is um, to create big differences between uh, diatonic and chromatic uh, harmonies. Uh, and in this way you can recreate a very basic uh, harmonic whispering. And the second... What, what do you mean by harmonic whispering? Harmonic uh, whispering, harmonic uh, uh, tension and the tension. Uh, okay, tension and relaxation. Yeah, tension, tension and relaxation, yes, as a whisper. Mm -hmm. as, as breathing. Yes, breathing, breathing. breathing. Sorry, Paul, as... sorry, sorry, no, not no whispering, problem. but breathing. Breathing yes. is the right, right breathing. word, thank you. Yes. And uh, exactly. 
And um, the second uh, way is to, uh, after studying uh, some physical uh, um, research about acoustic uh, and uh, the way how our ear work works, we know that our ear uh, perceive intervals in different way. So why we say that the f open fifth is consonant and the minor second is dissonant? Because inside how we our here there is an organ. The name is cochlea, uh, and um, that vibrates, vibrates and communicate the, this this vibration to the to the to the brain. And uh, why it, it, the, this small membrane, the, the name is cochlea, uh, uh, is is like a piano. And uh, the, some notes are, are closed, and, and if the same part of the membrane vibrates, the message is confused, and uh, and uh, is co and is communicate to to, to, to to the to the brain in confused way, and uh, this do the, the the reason why we we perceive that as a dissonance, as a, as something something uh, quite disappoint disappointing, maybe painful even main painful yeah. <laughs> And uh, we can we can play about that. We can we can use that creatively, because um, so so we can uh, we can conceive a, a, a interval hierarchy, and uh, and and uh, over there we can conceive an harmonic hierarchy and uh, and uh, a, a degree of harmonic a scale of harmonic uh, uh, degree from the more dissonant to the more consonant. And uh, I made several experiments uh, with uh, with musician and no musician, and uh, it it quite works. And uh... yes, sure, mm -hmm. because it is based. Uh, of mm -hmm. course, it is based in science. In fact, mm -hmm. like I, I I I have to say that the 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 impression that it is a big problem of lots of the music of the 20th century, that with abandoning the tonal language, there came it. It was simu simultaneously abandoning consonants, mm. yeah. which doesn't need to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's that's a, a, that's a, a the problem. Yeah. It's, you're always always tense. You're always tense. Where's the relaxation? Yeah, yeah I the, agree. Where's the nice feeling? Yeah, <laughs> completely. What I said. Yeah, yeah is the, I, I think that this broken moment was necessary. Sure. After the Second World War. war uh, but uh, now oof, oof, I think that we can you can think music differently, and we can recover without uh, embarrass the, the 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 some consonants. Oh, yes, but not in banal ways. It's that's another problem because the other the other f side of of the of the of the disc is that uh, is that some people um write uh, diatonic and tonal way uh, so in so sim simplistic. Too, too sim so simplistic, simplistic for me mm. like you, in one lecture you said about the difference between simple and simplistic like this is it's not yeah. simple I mean, it's okay but it's yeah, a for me the opposition is not simple and complex yes i try to find and to write in complex way and in simple way, uh, way at the same time, it's uh, for simplicity is not uh, the contrary of complexity. Complexity is the the, the, the the degree of interest of a piece, but uh, it could be expressed in simple way. And uh, for me, the opposite is uh, so simple and simplest and uh, complex and complicate. Complicate is a degeneration of a complexity. It's just complicated, but why? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. But uh, f about this subject, there there is another big misunderstood, of course. A lot of co contemporary music is is very complicated. But uh, w what what can you find the, the be below? Why is it? Uh, what, mm. what is, yeah. 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 I think. Uh, 
I don't know if the, if you know the composer Hans Eisler. Um, he was a student of of Schoenberg. Mm -hmm. And uh, some pieces, but not very well. Yes, yes. And but, but some of his texts are also interesting because he it's very complicated life. Uh, it's too 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 complicated. It's it's too complex to to tell now. Um, but um, he said that um, it with the, the a big problem with dodecaphonic music was that it was a technique that everyone could everyone could use. But not in the musical musical way, and a lot of people wrote in in dodecaphonic way, but not in a musical dodecaphonic way. So uh, I think it's it's a bit of of that, and it, it appears okay. It's dodecaphonic. It's okay. It's good, but it isn't because it's uh, it, it just uses a technique. But why? And what is the what is the message? Of, of of the music, why? But for each current, for each. Uh, and so, sorry, and it, it, yeah. it, it and dodecaphony, and also the, you know the, the the music of early Penderecki, this second uh, 60s and 70s yeah. music in Poland, sonorism. It's similar because to to compose in this way and to appear, that the score appears looking contemporary and nice, it's easy, and but it's the the complexity overshadows what is inside. So it's. Why is the problem about epigons? Uh, because each current uh, is is new idea, but uh, several people uh, try to imitate and to use acritically. It's uh, without a critical approach. I can use the the, the minimalism. I can use the, uh, the 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 spectralism or the dodecaphony system, but why? Just because I. Uh, Mostly because I I have not ideas, and someone gives to me uh, the, the the way to compose. And you follow a recipe. A lot lot of of composers needs need uh, need a, a, a technique that that still exists, and uh, it's it's it could be helping just for the first part of your your career because you 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 are knowing uh, several things and you are very angry and hungry and and uh, but but you have to find of course your own way your own uh, techniques your own vocabulary yeah you spoke uh, also about that about like making a decision like the putting the first note in the score it's it's already a decision piano or forte it's mm -hmm. a decision mm -hmm. and this decision needs to ha you need to follow this decision to listen into this you made a decision and now all the other options they are not yeah. existent anymore you have to follow only this this pass it's not clear it's, it becomes clearer with every note but there is some paths that are not possible anymore yeah the consequence of each choice is to to put off uh, something so to uh, the, the exclusion of uh, the composition and life in general is made in of, of 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 choices and uh, when you make a choice you your your personal field is little and little more more little but it's it's quality it's not a problem because more little is the the field more clear is the idea so as exactly as exactly as the as a, as a, a photo when you take a photo and it's flu and then tak 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 you need that and then that's all <laughs> that's that's the, the that's the, the the image to make the picture sharp to make the picture sharp exactly yes. and uh, the f first ideas in composition is progressively to make the picture sharp sharp exactly so and to do that you have to make choices i want that and not that i i go here and not there so, of course There is another uh, some something that you you spoke about you spoke about breathing, and this this just reminded me of another theme that seems to recur in your in your pieces in your music, in your poetic world, it's it's the sea wave sailor. It seems that is uh, related. <coughs> is it related also to a personal uh, experiences or that you were raised near the sea? 
yeah, sea belongs to me. It's is uh, from from the beginning of my life. Okay, in in Italy, you, wherever you you live, uh, you you have a uh, fifty kilom you are fifty kilometers uh, far from the from from the sea. So it's but 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 I I spent all my holidays, summer holiday, two months on on the sea. I wrote my best pieces, I think, in front of the sea, and uh, I need to go to the sea. And to to swim, I need this element, and uh, water in general, but the sea in particular. So yes, it it belongs to me. And uh, I think that unconsciously, uh, it it below you you can find that in several musical scores of mine. Of yours, sure, of yes, mine, yes, yes, yes. It was very present this idea mm -hmm. of sea of waves. You spoke a lot about of, of this waving motion. Yeah. About well, of course, I, I think uh, that uh, music has to speak about you. Uh, it's your music. It's your world. It's your past. It's your adventure. It's your. It's your life. Yeah, it's your your way to be in the world. So it's it, but it's again like the how you how you how you are or how you are raised where you were born it influences very much the person you are like you were born in, in Poland Poland is totally different in Italy hmm. you are either in the near the mountains like Krakow and Katowice are pretty near the mountains hmm. but, or you are near the sea or you are some, somewhere in the middle without sea. No mountains, it's all, all the, the land is totally flat. It's the, the geographics of Poland is totally different than Italy. And there's oh, this, in Italy, there's we had, this, we had this, 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 the three three things too. Yeah, you know, in Italy, you have, maybe, maybe the it's land, very close. It's yeah, very close, yeah, everything. Yeah. And um, for my wife, for example, it was it, it was very interesting when she came to Catalonia that there's the sea and the mountains are like ah, you okay. see the mountains, ah, okay. it appears okay. from the sea. And I okay. suppose in Italy, it's it's okay. it's it's, it's <coughs> pretty much the same. <laughs> And um, but in, in the, there is this this joke always for vacations. People ask, "Are you going to the sea or the mountains?" But the mountains are very very important here in Poland. Um, and my and there is an idea that 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 introduced that 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 spoke to me. That was very like I never thought that this way. But my first composition teacher he. Is wrote a text about um, I don't know what what is the theme is but in the text he referred that there's this types of person that uh, it was a bit like anti nationalistic this this idea of his that it's more important if you are a person of the sea a person of the mountains a person of the fields or you are Italian or French like the, the, it's, it influences uh, you we, more we, uh, we, the, we, the have, the, we have the, the same uh, joke in Italy uh, where, where do, do you spend your your, your vacation in, in mountain or, or, or in sea yes, really? and, uh, <laughs> okay. uh, yes and, uh, and it really half and half uh, I'm a sea, pe a sea person I never spend my vacation on mountain but you like the mountains also, or you have on your picture you have the the Dolomites. Uh, I, I I think I like, but it's it, I I can't can't lie. I, I the, the mountains and mountains ambience do, doesn't belong to me. It's not part of you. No, it's not a part of me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's my 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 past is is uh, linked to the sea, so. And we like the 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 reason or the, the you were advertised when coming here that you are this uh, brilliant uh, teacher of orchestration and uh, uh, certain that you are and have your own your own pieces are very poetically instrumentated very sophisticated um, in a in a in an organic and logic way and I wonder if this may be. I don't know. It's it's a guess because our um, our idea of we we have the stereotypes like French music is nicely instrumented, very very with, with much fantasy, and is this maybe an influence? Like you live a long time now in France. Did did it change in the like in in the time that you are in France that this became more and more 
important for you, the, the instrumentation aspect of composition, mm -hmm. the tambril, <coughs> The, yes, the, the lighter texture. Yeah, yeah, I understand. The, the, yes, the texture and the, the color is very important, as I said. I don't know if French uh, environment uh, could, um, uh, has uh, uh, influenced me. Some pieces, some... I, I, uh, when, when I went, in, I, I moved to French, uh, to France, I, I still... Uh, at my my personal language and my idea of sound so i think that each discovering each piece could add something but uh, again and again you have to be yourself and uh, if uh, another world affect affects you it means that your world is poor if I listen a French piece, and uh, again this piece uh, resonate we in or c c could reverb in in my in my inner chords. It's okay, and in and uh, it it could uh, happen. Of course, of course. I I, I don't I, I I didn't ask this person this like you 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 wanted to become more French or something. Like it's I think it's a bit of a natural process that. When you live in a, another country with a, a bit an, a different culture, it influences you in a way. Not in the first day, not in the second day, but slowly. Like if if you're speaking about orchestration, this this most popular now I think book uh, textbook for orchestration uh, students uh, Samuel Adler, mm -hmm. and uh, Samuel Adler was born in Mannheim in Germany because be before the Nazis uh, came to power, and of course he immigrated because he's Jewish. And uh, then he became an American composer, but his roots are very German. And but it, the, the where you be, it influences you, not in the first day, but with uh, with with time. Maybe. And I have the same yeah, experience. Yeah. Like I'm I'm born in Germany, and I've been bilingual, but uh, living in Poland, of course, in a way, slowly it it, it influences you. That the, the thinking in another language influences. Yeah, uh, I think that. Uh uh, it could happen when you immigrate uh, as a child. I I moved to Fran France when I was uh, 30, 3, 34. Okay. And so it, the uh, age I know. <laughs> for me, it's too late to 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 change routes and to to change way to 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 see the world and to see things. So, no, it doesn't change my 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 own way to. To, to conceive music and uh, colors and uh, because I, I I knew uh, French composition before yes, moving and you, to and, and you cited uh, Debussy and Ravel mm. and you didn't cite any Italian composition you, 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 you spoke about um, in the vocal piece in the, 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 the about um, uh, Venosa. Um, yes, but... Ital Italian composer. Uh, it depends on on, on the period because uh, we had very very good Italian composers in in the in the seventeenth century, eighteenth century. After that, in the nineteenth century, we had uh, very very important opera composers. But uh, if you speak about the nineteenth century in uh, in uh, and twentieth uh, century, begin the beginning of twentieth century, in Italy we had uh, Puccini, Verdi, Leoncavallo, and uh, Mascagni. At the same times, we had. Uh, uh, Wagner in German Germany and Ravel and Debussy. So the symphonic piece, the symphonic tradition, was lost in, in, Italy. in Italy. There is not a romantic it, symphony in Italy. Or was it even built? Because like the, the, there is the, those seventeenth century composers. It's, it's, it's Rivaldi, a problem. And thought, after Vivaldi, yeah, it's, yeah. Corelli, it's a problem. It's, just a tradition. The tradition go went. To the opera, to the theater. So, like symphonic uh, tradition didn't even develop really in it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, never, because even with, with Vivaldi, we had not the tradition of symphony in yes, in, in, in a Deutsch way, uh, in German way this is the, the, of of a forma sonata that is the is a song of of the Hegel philosophy. 
In Italian is, is disconnected by that. It doesn't exist at all. No, you can't find the symphony is in 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 Spain. Yes, as you well can as, yes. find symphony even in in France. After uh, in France, you you will find the the symphonical piece in 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 a French color with the DC Ravel. But yeah, uh, nine, but before century, that, yes. not really. Yes. No. In France, as in Italy, a, a, a 19th century was opera, Bizet, Meyerbeer, and uh, and uh, Gounod. And, and you spoke about you, your interest in vocal music in the recent years, your interest in, in opera, but you are also interested still in in, in orchestra. In, uh, you, I, I think you are also very... You are very fluent, in, <laughs> of course, in, in both, like in the vocal mm -hmm. genre and in the... Uh, in the um, orchestral, instrumental, uh, also the solo pieces. The, 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 like it, this is also a field of interest for you. You wrote for solo harp, for the, the solo violin piece you showed us, for cymbalom, uh, which is a, a spe very special instrument. Um, I, I heard you also wrote for accordion. Like it's mm. you, you, you choose this the special instruments and and try to find your your own ways with it. Yeah. Um... I I prefer maybe something uh, more than other other uh, other instrumentation, but but in general I I receive a commission, and uh, it could be for for big orchestra or for trombone and piano. I could like or I or I couldn't like, but for me it's bad, and uh, I have to found my own ideas for this table. If I have to write a piece for this table, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good, but it's not the question. For me, it's bad, bad for my sensibility, for my brain, for my, and uh, and I accept the bad. Mm -hmm. Of course, I have my preferences, uh, my favorite. Uh, now I would like very much to write for, for for opera, for voices, for theater, for theater, but but. Uh, I just uh, just a uh, big will, but, uh, but big wish, big wish, wish. Yeah. I think this this is maybe a good point to 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 close this conversation yeah. with you, and because it's your birthday, so my wish for you is to <laughs> that this wish of you uh, will be fulfilled, that you will uh, be able to write uh, an opera pretty soon. <laughs> pretty soon. Yes. Thank you very And much. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to have you here in Katowice. Thank to still you have all. you here. And I hope maybe someday you will, you will come back, we will return. You will, I hope. Be, you will be the same and not the same. Maybe you will present an opera, your <laughs> new opera to us. Maybe, I hope. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank Mille you. grazie. <laughs> Prego, thank Mille you. Grazie.